Hi, my name is Christopher O'Hara, and in this video, I'm going to give you a demo of this wonderful amp called the Car Slant 6V. It's really versatile, it has two channels. One of the channel is voiced like American Fender Blackface Deluxe, while the other channel is voiced more like a British sound, like a Marshall, or even kind of get almost boxy type tones out of it. And I'm going to show you some different guitars I'm going to play with this amp, and we're going to get into some of the nuts and bolts. So hopefully you enjoy this demo and get an idea of how wonderful and versatile this amp is. Okay, let's begin with channel one. This is the American kind of Fender Blackface Deluxe type sound. And from left and right we have volume, treble, middle, bass, and then reverb. This reverb works on both channels. And I've had one modification done on the uh, clean channel, or channel one, which is I put a push-pull pot that either activates or deactivates the bright cap in the circuit and when it's pushed in that deactivates or bypasses the bright cap and when it's pulled out then it re-engages that bright cap and the reason why I did that when I play a little bit lower volume levels and I want to get a little bit better jazz sound, a little mellower sound, then I deactivate or take that out of the circuit and that's um, by, I do that by pushing in. I normally have it pulled out for most gigs and uh, it's just kind of a nice little extra feature. Now over in channel 2 we have very similar controls except we have a master volume here. So from left to right we have volume, master, treble, middle, bass. This switch is a boost switch and that gives you a lot more gain on this channel. One thing that I really like about this channel is the middle tone control is very usable. You can go from a very crunchy kind of mid-range martial kind of sound to something a little bit more mellow, even something that is very uh, similar to Robin Ford type tone. Included with the amp is a, a foot pedal that switches between these two channels. Okay, here's the back of the amp, and I'm going to start from the, go work my way right to left. In the far right, we have the effects loop. Here we have a send and a return, and we also have a bypass switch, which is kind of nice. So if you're playing live and you just want to get rid of those, uh, those nasty time-based effects, then feel free to flick that switch down and you get rid of those effects. Um, over here we have our impedance and it has a switch for 4, 8, and 16. Since I'm running in half uh, power, or cathode biased, Steve Carr recommends running it actually at an impedance of 4. So it's a little bit different I think than, than, than most amps. So that's our impedance. Here we have a couple speaker outs. Over here we have a switch that says panel and foot. And what this does is it basically tells the foot switch that's included with the amp to um, be activated. So when, you're, when the switch is down, then you can use this foot switch. When it's up, then you can use the switch on the front of the amp to switch the channels. This is obviously where you plug in your foot switch. Over here we have our power settings. The turned all the way down would be full. And in the, in the next notch up is half at cathode bias, and then finally all the way up we have half at fixed bias. So at full it's about, I think about 40 watts. Cathode bias is around 22 watts I believe, and then finally fixed bias is a little lower, around 18-ish. And over here we have our bias test points, which is great because um, you know, it makes it easy to bias. So someone like me who's not very technical um, with the amps, I can just put my voltmeter in there and set it up and bias the amp. There's a little uh, uh, knob underneath the amp that you basically turn left or right to adjust the bias. It's pretty easy to do. I've done it before. And they have videos on YouTube that show you exactly how to bias this particular amp. This amp runs with four, six, V6 
tubes and it's a great sounding lot of headroom out of this and with adjusting uh, to the other half powered you can get a lot more crunch out of the, um, the distortion channel or channel 2 at much lower volume so a lot of flexibility with this amp so now let's get into playing and hearing how this wonderful amp sounds I'm going to start off with a couple of Strat type sounds and uh, this guitar does have a humbucker but I'm going to, for the first part, I'm going to start mostly with the kind of the typical Strat sounds. And for the microphone, I'm just using a plain old 57, nothing fancy, and you'll be able to hear how great this amp sounds just with a, just your standard run of the mill microphone. So now I'm on the channel 2 or the dirty channel and I have the boost engaged. So I'm going to have a lot of gain here and uh, you'll see how kind of versatile this channel is. I'm going to start backing off a little bit on the gain in the middle later on. You'll see how it kind of gets this nice more bluesy or uh, kind of lead sound. It's really great. So starting with the rock stuff.
Thanks for watching this short video on the Car Slant 6V. It's a wonderful amp and it's really fun to play, so hopefully you'll get a chance to try one of these out and uh, really have a great time with it. I hope you end up buying one. It's a great, great amp. So thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.